Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Over the weekend, uh, <clears throat> Professor Santoli uh, from Barron's uh, intoned on the concept of nautical twilight. Nautical twilight occurs when the sun, twice a day, when the sun, as the sun rises or sets, and the human eye is unable to perceive the horizon anymore. The human eye is unable to perceive the horizon anymore. The concept of nautical twilight. I believe we're entering a period of nautical twilight. Uh, we have did, however, have to use our last known position to give us some future thoughts. Number one, gold is good. The strength in the dollar the last few days may well continue. Uh, with the defects in the euro, we still feel gold is going to be one of the very few asset classes to be uh, positive for the year, even with the margin increases and even anticipating further margin increases, we retain our bullish outlook on gold. However, this is not the time to be accumulating at these levels. We'll let you know thoughts about that. We actually have some fairly specific uh, ideas about trading in the next few days, and if you'd like to hear about those, please contact me or Al Vickery on 781-380-8888. Part of the difficulty here is, and remember, we told you Greece was going to default. We told you that like a month ago. And one of the things that happens is people forget reality. They want to wish things are going to be better. The European nation states have no vested interest in working together. The European nation states have no vested interest in working together. As a consequence, they're not working together, and they're not going to work together in the future. This is a sign for us to be very cognizant of the fact that we have two different, very different political systems affecting the investment world. The American system, which is straightforward, we don't have to like it, but it's straightforward. You know, people in Canada can't decide how, what American fiscal policy should be. And that's, in effect, what's going on in Europe. People are fighting, they're resisting, they don't want to do it. Their country's doing well, they don't want to be dragged down. Their country's doing desperately poorly, they need to be lifted up. So we have two different political systems. And in my memory, this is the first time there's been so much intermingling. And I'm not even talking about the third system in China and you know what's going on over there and stuff we've talked about before. But there's been persistent denial in the marketplace about what's going on in these different political systems. And that denial is coming home to roost. <coughs> Last, well, two more points. <coughs> As we look out over this week, money managers are getting ready to report on the third quarter. They desperately don't want it to be any worse than it is already. So there's not very much likelihood of anything terrifically cool happening this week. That's a technical term, cool. So uh, we want you to keep in mind portfolio dressing is uh, the order of the day. Last, <clears throat> and back on the gold front, uh, one of the reasons gold has gone down, and we've spoken about this before structurally, and I think it's very important, European banks in the last two weeks or so have been selling gold. They were net buyers, now they're selling to improve their capital positions. I saw Art Cashin um, from UBS, the floor trading guru of UBS, and he was speaking about when margin calls come up, when you buy stocks, you buy them on your own terms and in whatever way you'd like to buy them. But when you're answering margin calls, you've got to sell everything you have, whether you like it or not. And that's been a large factor in gold's decline. So <clears throat> we say aim for the ice flows, not the open water. The next couple of days, unless you're a real trader like we are, preservation of capital is the order of the day. This is Arnie Waters, 781-380-8888. Tiger Woods has a new caddy. Hooray! Have a great day.